Welcome back, guys. Today we're still in Spain and we're playing a short course called Puñente. And um, yeah, we're looking at 3,500 yards. It's a short but challenging course. Make sure to check out the course I played two days ago, Levante. A beautiful championship course and I managed to shoot 83 the first time playing it, which I'm super stoked about. As was the case with Levante, this course has also got some beautiful views. Being shorter, we're facing short par fours and lots of par threes. This one, just wanted to stay right of that bunker that's on the left of the green. So anything on the right is safe. And uh, up for an eight iron and managed to get on green. Now I just gotta handle the difficult part for me, which is the putting. And uh, let's just see if my putting is a little bit better today than it was in Levante. Here we have our first short par four. And many ways that one can play this way in terms of course management and better. I mean, I would probably go to the right beyond that first bunker. But instead, the architect has sucked me in and I'm feeling cocky with my drives from the previous two days and try to go for green. I need to land in one of these awful bunkers and skinny that over the green. Tough little chip shot here. I'm a little bit tentative of the down slope and scared it's going to run off the green. So end up duffing it a bit short but then managed to get on the green for the second one. Straightforward par three, and we are just looking to get over that bunker. That's the most important thing. And obviously stay a bit left to avoid the other bunker on the right, but plenty of space. Nice little spot that I've chosen and land on the green. And now it's just up to my putting. Nice little clean up here, two putts on the par three, four par. Another short par four, way too tempting with the driver, and it's absolutely littered with danger with those horrible bunkers. But what do I do? I end up going for the bunker, think up for the green, sorry, thinking I can get over those bunkers. And I think I ended up landing in the one bunker and it shot up the lip and luckily landed just off the green. So I was incredibly lucky and now it's just about being able to play a nice little chip shot onto the green which i pull off so all in all good result but it was a little bit lucky i think this was probably the best shot of the day i did did do some course management with this plan to get it close to the green because there's a bit of an opening there got my distance right and absolutely smashed this hybrid onto the green. Initially couldn't see where it was, but when I walked up, I was super happy. Eagle putt. Unfortunately, not the greatest eagle putt. I leave myself some work, but managed to sink my first birdie. Very short par three here, but the elevation is quite high. So I offer my 60 degree and hit a pretty spot on shot and end up super close to the hole. Almost plugging in the green, but uh, yeah, very good. Putt could have been slightly better, but it's close. Managed to get a par. Completely blind hole this, but I'm pretty confident with my nine iron and getting my distance pretty spot on. So I just go for the green and hope it'll work out. And when I got there, luckily it had. Initially I didn't know that. This green was also super slope, doesn't really show on the camera, but the, the putting wasn't as easy as it, as it looks end up making bogey. One of the par threes with the least amount of danger, but I chunk it a little bit and don't quite get there, unfortunate, even though there was a bit of a backstop that I, I should have probably gone a bit longer. And end up teething that chip over the bunker. But fortunately for me, I can play a great third shot, almost hole it, 
and managed to clean up the putt for a for a bogey. Back at it again with my driver on a short par four and pushing my limits again. End up hooking this one a little bit into the bunker. Usually I probably would have carried that bunker pretty easily, but um, just didn't execute the shot. And you know, the cardinal rule of staying out the bunkers when the bunkers aren't in great shape. You know, second shot staying in the bunker, the third shot teething it over the green. And now I've got to try recover. Classic golf, but managed to pull off a pretty sweet chip, just trickling down, which is leaving me a, not a bad putt. And managed to sink the putt for a change. Nothing too crazy on this next part three. Just got to stay left of that bunker and um, end up coming up a bit short. Didn't quite judge the distance right. Wrong club, perhaps. And then it's just got to clean up, get back on the green and let my putting do the rest. Unfortunately, not the best putting on this hole, and this is my first three putt of the day, which by the 13th hole is not the worst. This was by far the worst hole that I played. Thinking it's pretty straightforward, just got to get it over that bunker onto the green and there's some space on the right. End up having a little bit of a shank and um, I did hit a provisional after that but managed to find my ball. That wasn't actually too much of a bad spot. But then a solid shank, I just don't know if I wasn't paying attention or, or what was going on. I think it was just unfocused, end up in the bushes. I mean, some ridiculous play. but. Um, at least it makes it up for some interesting viewing. And um, yeah, another chip onto the green. Finally onto the green after a couple of shots. And now it's uh, trying to clean it up. And let's see what I get to miss this putt and then end up in for a triple bogey. Not my best work. A little bit of frustration creeping through from the previous blow up and um, yeah as you can see hit a bit over the green I mean not not the worst I just didn't understand how it flew so far considering I was hitting on an upslope managed to pull off a, a pretty awesome little chip not not an easy spot that coming downhill and then clean up with the two butt for a for a bogey another pass three here and my thinking is just do whatever I need to do to get over that bunker. There's a lot of space behind that on the green and beyond from the green. And chunk my shot a little bit, but I'm thankful to land on the edge of the green and manage to play a nice little chip shot, which almost goes into the hole. But once again with my putting, just causing a little bit of trouble. But you know what, I'll take the bogey. One of the longer holes here, uh, longer par four, and you get to pull out the driver because there is some open space. You just got to get it over that first bunker and, and in the middle somewhat. And yeah, just push it a little bit, end up having to take a drop because it was unplayable. And now it's just about getting it back towards the green over that bunker because there's plenty of space if you just get over the bunker. Back to the chipping, which has been semi-reliable today. And yeah, not too bad. It was in what's it like eight foot. And uh, now I've just got to clean up with the putting. But unfortunately, just squeak this one. Coming up on the 18th hole here, up for my hybrid, as I want to land in that open spot on the left, just to the left of the bunker in front of the green. And hit it a little bit too straight, push it a little bit and end up in the bunker. Perhaps a better move would have been using the driver to make sure I get over the bunker. Luckily not the worst chip shot out of the bunker, but um, yeah, it leaves me still, still quite a bit of work to do. Manage a decent little bump and run, 
and uh, now it's just left up to my putting again. But once again, I only managed the two putt. Not too bad. Yeah, overall a great day and uh, really enjoyed the couple we were playing with, Finnish couple, and yeah, final score of 77. 15 over par on which was quite a tricky course. Surprisingly tricky. Thanks for joining and uh, be sure to stay tuned because my next couple of videos will be dropping when I've been in South Africa. So there should be some good videos coming up. Cheers.